Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints fan here. Welcome to another GTA 5 video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some secret slash hidden features that you may not know about in GTA Online, at least that came with the latest update, patch 1.31. And these first two things I'm going to mention, they're not really GTA gameplay related, but the first one, there's actually new custom avatars on the social club. If you use the social club a lot, you can use pictures you take from your Snapomatic. You can use those as the avatars on there. In addition, and I will leave a link, and I talked about this in my previous video, but Rockstar is releasing GTA Liberty City Stories on the iOS and Android devices. If you buy that and link up your social club, you get the I Love Liberty Cities t-shirt. So if you're interested in that, you can go check that out. The links will be in the description. Now getting into stuff that actually matters. So the first thing, and you guys may not have noticed this, but if you check on your phone, you go to your emails, there's actually 25% off all of the Doctees website right now. So if you were planning on buying any boats, then this would be a time to do it. You could save a little bit of money. Pretty cool. Also, and tell me if this is for anybody else. I saw it and I don't know if it was just me, if it was glitched out or something, but the insurgent, they like did some weird things here with the regular insurgent not the one that has the gun not the pegasus vehicle but the one that you get to put in your garage normally it used to only cost like six hundred fifty thousand. it was somewhere around that but now they bumped up the price to 1.3 million i think it was and put a slash through it and made it seem like it was on sale for its six hundred fifty thousand dollar price i don't know if that was intentional or if they're doing that to try and make it appear like it's on sale and that it's a good deal and you should go out and buy it. I mean, it is a good deal. The Insurgent's like one of the best cars in the game, but still like that's just, it's really odd that they did that. And honestly, if you haven't purchased this, I would purchase this now just in case they do decide to bump its price to that 1.3 million. You don't want to get screwed out if they do eventually do that. Another thing, and many of you guys probably do know this, but I figured I would let you guys know anyway. The vehicles that you actually get for purchasing your yacht, like the helicopter and all the boat vehicles, you get your own paint job, your own custom paint job for them, and it's based off of what you choose for the yacht. It's not that big of a deal, honestly, but for people who like customizing their cars, and this sort of gives you a way to customize Pegasus vehicles a little bit. I know it's like sort of a workaround, but... Regardless, it's still pretty cool. Speaking of the yacht, and I thought this was sort of common knowledge, when I was in the lobby, a lot of people had no idea how I was doing it, and that is honking my yacht's horn. If you guys didn't know, in the interaction menu, there's a yacht services option. If you go in there, not only can you sail on the horn from basically wherever, but you can turn on the air defense system. Now, be careful with this air defense system. It is super OP. Like, it's so good. Anything that comes near you, they're dead if you have it on including your friends and bodyguards so just be careful if you don't have the right exclusion set because the last thing you want is to be in the back seat of a helicopter flying to your yacht and you forgot to turn the exclusions to the organization and then you get shot down moving into the vips and the organizations now so earlier this week i showed you guys that you need one million dollars in your bank account to actually become a vip and start your own organization and for those wondering like that money doesn't go anywhere it's just a prerequisite to start your organization however if we take a look at this tweet from fun mw2 we can see that there may be an alternative or a way to at least lower that amount so it says here your job points have earned you a discount on the vip buy-in cost I'm not entirely sure how much of a discount you actually get, but if we take a look at this next tweet, you can see here, apparently if you get 250 job points, you can start up your own VIP organization. Now that's a ton of job points, but it may be something you look into if you don't have that million dollar prerequisite. A little bit more on how the organizations actually work. When you are a bodyguard, you get the salary of about $5,000 over a period of time. And that's really not enough at all, in my opinion. That should be bumped up a little bit. But it will go down if the VIP dies, so just know that. While you are a bodyguard, pretty much all money you earn, the VIP will get a cut of it. Apparently, even if you sell cars, the VIP makes money. If you collect a bounty, he'll get a part of it as well. Some benefits of being a bodyguard, though, while you're in that like circular area around the VIP, you will have accelerated health regeneration, frequent RP bonuses, and stat boosts, 
So you do have some bonuses, even though the monetary aspect of being a bodyguard isn't that great. And then finally, the last thing I want to mention, and the reason I am mentioning this is because it, it personally happened to me, and I'll show you guys some gameplay here. For whatever reason, it appears with this new update, the VIP jobs have broken free mode to an extent. And I don't know if this happens every time. If anybody else has any instances where this occurred, let me know in the comment section. But I was playing free mode the other day and I was not in a VIP organization. I was not a part of anything. And all of a sudden, I got three stars. And these three stars would not go away even if I killed myself. There was no option to call Lester. Anything I did, the three stars remained. And apparently the reason I had three stars was because somebody else in the lobby who was a VIP, they were doing a job. And until they completed that job, the stars were there for me and about 10 other people in my lobby. So I'm telling you guys this to give you a heads up. If you experience something like this where you just get stars on you for no reason and they won't go away, it's probably because somebody else in the lobby is doing a VIP mission. I'm almost positive that's not how it's supposed to be because that doesn't make sense at all. And it is really frustrating because I was trying to do something in the game and this kept happening. But anyway, those were some things that you may not have known about this last update. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you know anything that I didn't mention in this video, be sure to let me know as well as everybody else know in the comment section. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Drop a like, subscribe, all this stuff. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.